In this video, I'm gonna do a full tutorial on Hello Custom. I'm gonna go over how to connect your Etsy account, how to connect your Printify account, how to create the product on Printify and then publish it over to Etsy, and then how to create a template for that product on Hello Custom. I'm then gonna go over to Etsy, buy that product so that way you can see what happens on Hello Custom after a personalized product is bought, as well as what happens on Printify after you click that approve button. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so you just created your Hello Custom account, and the next step that it takes you to is our connections page, where it shows you the marketplaces and the print providers that we integrate with. Currently, we only integrate with Etsy and Printify. Eventually, we wanna add Amazon as a marketplace and all major POD providers as print providers, but currently, we only integrate with Etsy and Printify. To connect your Etsy account, simply click on connect, and then it will connect your Etsy account. It will display the name of the Etsy account that you're connected with here. If this is not the correct name, simply disconnect, sign into the correct Etsy account, and then connect again. To connect your Printify account, simply click on this connect. Click on allow. Perfect, so now your Printify account is connected to your Hello Custom account. So what's next? Hello Custom personalizes the graphic of a product that is sold on Etsy. So therefore we have to have the graphic and the product already live on Etsy first. So if you already have personalized listings on Etsy, then you're good to go to the template section. If you don't have any personalized listings created yet, you first have to create those designs, create the product on Printify, and then create the template on Hello Custom. So personally, I like to use Canva to create my designs. In this example, I'm gonna use the following graphic to create a personalized nurse shirt. To use this graphic to create the product on Printify, you have to download the graphic as a transparent background PNG. So PNG, transparent background, download. We're gonna use this PNG to create the product on Printify. So next, we're gonna go over to Printify. In this example, I'm gonna create a personalized t-shirt, but Hello Custom can be used for any product. Because Hello Custom is just personalizing the graphic, the graphic can be tied to any product on Printify, whether that's a shirt, a mug, a phone case, ornament, etc. So it can be used for any product, but I'm only doing apparel in this example. So I'm gonna search for the product. In this case, I'm gonna do Bella Canvas 3001. Click onto the product. Next, I'm gonna choose the print provider. In this case, I might use Monster Digital. Click on Start Designing. Click on Product Variants. Select the variations that I want to offer. For apparel, maybe 10 colors might be good. And then um, all standard sizes will be good. So go ahead and click on Update. Now we're gonna take that PNG with the transparent background and upload that here to create the shirt. So we're gonna click on my device and upload that design. From here, I might wanna make the design center top aligned. Maybe a little bit higher. Perfect, so that looks good. Next, I'm gonna click on save product. And then I'm gonna click on publish. And what Printify is gonna do is Printify is gonna publish this product onto our Etsy shop that is connected to our Printify account. Next, I'm gonna go over to Etsy, go into that listing, and I'm gonna turn personalization on. All right, so now that you're signed into your Etsy shop, click on listings, and then click onto the product that was just published from Printify. You're still gonna to have to optimize the title, the images, the description, the tags, the pricing, the display price, the sales, and do all of that still. But what I wanna show you is that you have to turn personalization on in this listing. Then scroll down to about the bottom one third. You're gonna see a section here called personalization where by default it is turned off. We need to turn this on. You can add instructions here, set any character limits if needed, and then click on publish. Perfect, so now that we have the design created, we have the product created in Printify, we have it live on our Etsy shop, we can now create the template inside of Hello Custom. So to do that, I'm actually gonna go back over to Canva because we have to download this design as a PDF. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to share if you're using Canva, click on download, and we're gonna download this as a PDF print, CMYK. 
And the reason why we download this as a PDF is we don't want Hello Custom to be a design tool. We want to give you the freedom to create your designs in Canva or Kittle or Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop that you can create your designs anywhere that you want. And if you download it as a PDF and upload that PDF to Hello Custom, our software can break apart the PDF and convert it back to an editable template inside of our software. So that's why we need a PDF. PNGs are flat files and it's impossible to break those apart, which is why it needs to be a PDF and not a PNG. So now that we have the PDF of our file, we're gonna go back over to Hello Custom. We're gonna click on Templates. And then in the top right corner, we're gonna click on Add New. From here, you have the ability to upload that PDF that we were just talking about, where, we, where you can upload the complete PDF, where we break apart the PDF and convert it to an editable template, or you can upload a PNG. If you upload a PNG, like I mentioned, PNGs are flat files, you have to upload the PNG without the personalization text elements. For example, this is where the name's gonna go, and this is where the date's gonna go. You need to download it as a PNG with a transparent background. We're able to automatically remove the background from PDFs, because there's a layer there that we can remove, but because PNGs are flat files, we can't delete the background. So you have to download it as a transparent background PNG without the personalization text elements. You can add those back in inside of our editor. The reason why someone would wanna do this is with some design softwares like Kittle, for example, they convert the text elements to image when downloading as a PDF. And for some reason, we're not able to convert that back to text element. So if you're using Kittle, this PNG option might be the way to go. So coming back over to Hello Custom really quick, I'm gonna upload that design as a PDF. And right now it's converting the PDF to an editable template, and this takes about five seconds to do. Perfect, so once your design is loaded into our editor, you can see that Hello Custom was able to break that back into an editable template. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna give this template a title. This is for internal purposes only, this is for your record. So I'm gonna type in Nurture. Next is we need to tell Hello Custom what product on Etsy does this graphic go to. So to do that, we're gonna click on Product Variants. By default, it's going to show all of your Etsy listings in a list here, but we only have that one listing right now. You can search either part of the title or the SKU to find the listing. But in this case, it's right here. I'm going to click onto it. And then it pulls in all of the SKUs for that listing, so all selected by default. So if all variations for this product use this graphic, go ahead and click on update. If you do apparel where on some of your shirt colors you do like a white graphic and then some of your shirt colors you do a black graphic, you would wanna unselect the SKUs that don't use this design. And then on the next one that you upload, maybe the dark version of this graphic, make sure you do the inverse of that. But in this case, I'm gonna leave them all selected. Click on update. Lastly, is we need to tell Hello Custom what on this design needs to be personalized and what it is. So to do that, we're gonna click onto this text element here because this is where the name's gonna go. We're gonna set the max allowance by dragging these two black dots either to the right or to the left. And essentially what the max allowance is is how wide can this text get before I would like the text font to get smaller and smaller and smaller to not break the design. So for example, if I keep adding some H's, you can see that the font is getting smaller and smaller and smaller, staying within that max allowance. And then, and then the inverse of that going back to the starting font size. So I'm gonna set the max allowance to here. You can do some editing, for example, some transparency, spacing, drop shadows. Um, if you want, when the personalization comes in, if you want it to be center aligned or left aligned or you know, right aligned, you can do some editing to how you would like it, the style of it to be personalized. But essentially, we need to tell Hello Custom what this is. This is where the name goes. So we're gonna click on the tags dropdown and click on name. Now Hello Custom knows when this product is bought on Etsy, it reads the personalization text from the shopper, and if the AI finds a name, it's gonna plug in the name here. And if it finds a date, I'm gonna go do the max allowance, tags, date, it's gonna put the date here. Currently, Hello Custom can only personalize names, dates, addresses, and phone numbers. Here are some examples of what Hello Custom classifies as a name. Here are some examples of what Hello Custom classifies as a date. Here are some examples of what Hello Custom classifies as an address. And here are some examples of what Hello Custom classifies as a phone number. 
Hello Custom will use the correct font, the correct color, the correct spacing, placement, and best of all, the correct personalization. So a couple of things I'd like to point out really quick is if you tag a text element, that uses a font that is not found in your font library, you will get an error message because we need that font to be able to personalize this text element. So you will have to either upload that font to your font library for this template or select a similar font. To do that, go ahead and click onto the text element and on the left menu bar under font, click onto this. If you wanna upload a font, click on add and to select a similar font, you can select from our list of fonts here. Next are the images. If you have designs that have a custom image and custom text, we can automate the personalization of the text and then kind of semi-automate the personalization of the image. Because the images come in as a message from the shopper, we don't have the ability to pull that from them and then to add to this template. So what we do is we give you the ability to add a zone, which is like a section, a placeholder onto your template. So that way when we personalize the text of this template, display that to you in our approval queue, you can click on the edit button, drag and drop the graphic into the zone, click on save and then approve. So we can kind of semi-automate the placement of a graphic. You'll still have to do any editing like removing the background or you know watercolor effects or anything like that outside of Hello Custom, but it's just a drag and drop into our template in, from the approval queue. So that is the feature that we added for the images. And the last one is the background. So if you have a design that needs a transparent background, for example, this graphic is gonna be printed onto a shirt and we do not want this white box behind our graphic when printed onto the shirt. So we need to remove this background before we publish the template. So to do that, that's when you click on background and click on transparent. And now the design will look correct. Once you have added your title, added your product variants, added your tags, and optionally removed the background, go ahead and click on publish. So now I'm gonna go over to Etsy. We're gonna buy that product that we just created. Hello Custom is going to read the personalization text that we type in, use this template that we just created to create the graphic and display it for us in our approval queue. All right, so this is the product that we created in Printify and published over to Etsy. You still need to do the listing SEO, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and buy this product. So for this example, I'm gonna do color black, size medium, and then for the personalization, I'm gonna type in, can the name be Samantha and the date be 2024? Thanks. So what Hello Custom is gonna do is it's gonna read this text from the shopper. It's gonna find a name, Samantha, and put Samantha here. It's gonna find a date, 2024, and put the date here. It's gonna make that graphic and it's gonna give it to you in our approval queue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and buy this now and then show you the personalized graphic that it creates inside of our approval queue. All right, so after about 10 minutes, this appeared in our approval queue. Hello Custom scans your Etsy account every 10 minutes for new orders and compares those against your active templates in Hello Custom. So after about 10 minutes, this appeared in the queue. We call these approval cards, and approval cards are on a per order basis, where in this case, we just bought one product, but if there were four personalized products in this order, it would show them stacked on the one approval card. It shows a thumbnail of the personalized graphic side by side with the Etsy order information. It shows the Etsy product, the quantity bought, the variations, and the personalization text that this shopper typed in. In this case, we bought a black medium shirt and we typed in, can the name be Samantha and the date be 2024? Thanks. I also had a note to seller, which are at the very bottom of the approval cards. Can I get this by the 28th? You're able to look at the thumbnail of the personalized graphics side by side with the personalization and determine, is this graphic correct? Yes or no. If the graphic is a little too small, you can click onto it to enlarge it. And if everything is correct, go ahead and click onto approve. And if you're integrated with Printify, it will automatically create, fulfill the product. And once it's shipped out, it will mark the order as complete inside of Etsy and provide tracking to the shopper. If for some reason you need to make any edits to this graphic before you send it over to Printify, simply click onto the three dots here where you can click on edit and our editor will pop up. From here, make any changes to the graphic click on save and then it will override the graphic for this order. If you are an in-house shop like myself where you wanna download these graphics, you can click on the three dots, click on download and you can download it as a JPEG, PNG with a transparent background or PDF. 
So since everything looks good with this graphic, I'm gonna go ahead and click on approve and then I'm gonna show you what happens on Printify. So there's two things that I wanna point out about our integration with Printify. One is your Etsy account is connected to Hello Custom, but your Etsy account is also connected to Printify. So when that order is placed on Etsy, we receive the order and Printify receives the order. The order that Printify receives is the one with your template graphic, the incorrect personalized graphic product. So what Hello Custom does is when that order is received by Printify, we immediately cancel it. So that way it is not sent to production and you are not charged for that product. So if you go into your Printify account and you're seeing orders being canceled, that is us canceling the orders with the incorrect graphic. When you click approve on the approval card and Hello Custom makes the product on Printify, what we do is we make a copy of the product that we created on Printify and we swap out the graphics with the template graphic with the correct personalized graphic and then create the order for the shopper. When the product goes from being on hold to in production to shipped, what, what Hello Custom does is it takes the order from Etsy, marks it as complete, moves it to your completed folder, and then provides tracking to your shopper. So you don't have to worry about tracking or anything like that. So we completely automate the fulfillment of your products when integrated with Printify. All right, so if we head over to Printify, go to orders, you can see that we have two orders, one that is canceled and one that is on hold. This is the order that went straight from Etsy to Printify and the one that Hello Custom canceled. And this is the one that after we clicked approved that Hello Custom created on your Printify account. If we click into the one that was canceled by Hello Custom, you can see that it was canceled and you were not charged anything. If you click onto the actual product, this is why we had to cancel it, is yes, it is the correct color, it is the correct size, but it is the incorrect graphic. It says Nurse Sarah Smith 2023. This is the template graphic. I probably should have chosen a different shirt color for this example, but as you can see, this is the wrong graphic, and that, and that is why Hello Custom canceled it. If we go back into the order that Hello Custom created, you can tell that it is an order that Hello Custom creates is when it starts with HC, Hello Custom. You can see that we use the same print provider. It's the correct color, it's the correct size, and if we click onto the product, it is the correct graphic, Samantha 2024. The second thing that I wanna point out is in order to create this order, we had to create the product. So if you go over to your products, you'll see that we have, this is the graphic that we created for the template, the one that is published on your Etsy account, and that Hello Custom created this product here for that order, and we do not publish it to your Etsy account. You can tell that it is a product that Hello Custom creates is when the name starts with API Hello Custom. I would recommend that you do not delete this product until the customer receives the product and they do not need any replacements. At that time, feel free to delete this product, but make sure you do not delete the template because this is the one that we make a copy of for all the personalized ones from this product. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, please reach out to support at hollowcustom.io or feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you so much and I'll see you next week.